Pinot Black Fox so basically this is a fresh shot of earth and uh, mercury. Remember mercury is pretty much basically you go by the size here pretty pretty close to this and there is a luminosity that makes this stuff and it's close to the camera uh, to this very close to the satellite right now uh, and this is probably the moon here and basically mercury and the moon are the same damn size uh, what we've got this is earth rare let me plop this out for you 25 and basically we are seeing from behind on this so it's a long ways away uh, actually closer to B right now uh, A would be the farther shot uh, more than likely we finally get a good shot of the moon right there uh, that a little luminosity there close to the moon and the separation there more than likely that's probably pretty doggone good with the size what we were seeing on the side here the main body and then since it's the same size pretty much as is the moon pretty much probably the moon right there above earth uh, we got a lot of action going on we got some energy we got to show you this is astounding footage that we have from a and you're gonna see the energy that's that's is massive because we're gonna freeze this and you're gonna see how massive all that energy now that's the one section is more likely the you know the Milky Way galaxy but the other one is probably bigger than the Milky Way galaxy I'm gonna show you and then our planet up here too that we know that this within about a, at least a one all you are pretty close even worst case scenario it would be like two all you away from the uh, the sun as you see over here and this is this planet that we've been watching for quite a while here and I'll show you the maps I got them lined up real fast uh, this footage is astounding and let alone the planet that we've been seeing here that we pretty much we're going to show you on the maps that more than likely this is a planet that's in our you can see the magnetical it's in our solar system ie the sun it's magnetical uh, and you can see the magnetical line on it and it's huge and it's not mercury it's not earth and we'll be able to show you now remember that we're shooting from a here and that's not venus either folks okay venus is going to be just coming into the shot today on and matter of fact i can go right over here to navy right here and that is venus just starting to get in on core three uh, and you can just start to see it appearing on the right hand side over here and it looks very damn large now, going back to our maps that we always look at, you can see that when we're shooting from A, and it's just started to get in, in view on A, okay? Uh, just starting to come into view that I just showed you there on the Navy shot. Now, when we're looking over here at A, when we're looking across, we're getting Mercury and Earth, okay? And then we're also getting those other two planets over there, okay? Basically, this magnetical there, and we'll pump in real fast on that. And I think this is the 24th I've got here, or whatever date we'll see when we pop back out here. And you can see that we are getting, uh, and actually an interesting, uh, along the magnetical line, uh, some very unusual way down low on, on Mercury. Because Mercury's small. This is, Mercury's illuminated up like crazy right now with the sun and the CME action and so forth and so on. As you can pretty much see the size of Earth with because of the shadow on the backside, uh, and that's actually even because it's a the magnetical that's doing that. It's giving us actually a little bit of an unrealistic sizes on these right at this current time. Now we are seeing these two planets here, and when you go back and you look at the map, these planets are there. We've been seeing the magnetical on those. It pretty much self-explanatory here pretty much if you've been watching the videos long enough the idea that those two planets back there as I go to another map uh, the Sun is in the well right directly in the center there you'll see it it's pretty much there that's the Sun and this box blows up and gives you this here blow up of this of all of our planets and everything is on the, this side the majority of everything the only other thing over here is Jupiter Jupiter's out way out uh, pretty much uh, we don't have the line here of it where it's at but it's out here and it's out way past Mars orbit and we can go to JPL and show you that uh, take the map around here uh, I think I'm better off to not make sure I can give you Jupiter by basically going like this and I'll go left and I'll come around and there you go.
got Jupiter there. But as you know, as the angles that we're shooting at from the cameras on the satellites, when you're coming across, you're gonna have Mercury and Earth, right? Well, when you're shooting from A, like we show you basically over here, because A's up here at ACE, shooting across, I'm only gonna get that side of the sun, okay? So, and we're at this JPL here with this recent and everything like that, the 25th, and here we got basically from this DA-14's map, and you got DA-14's orbit, and Earth is right there. Okay, so you got Mercury and Earth, and when you move us around on the map, you're going to see that when you're shooting from A at the angle, because it's always a Y angle, and you're going to end up with Earth and Mercury in a shot, right? Well, now Jupiter may be in that shot. It possibly could be. Well, why they didn't mark it, we don't really know. And what I'm saying is factually that this possibly could be Jupiter, but I really kind of doubt it. And I either we got two planets, but no matter what, then we know that we have this other planet again that we've been seeing by Jupiter when we've seen the meatball action and so forth and so such, if this is even Jupiter. But I really kind of doubt that that's Jupiter. But our most stunning is what we are getting from our energy that you're going to see coming off here on this planet shot from over at let me get us down here that basically we're at A okay let me take you across here and you see that energy coming along and it's huge because I'm going to show you that it's massive it's bigger than it's bigger than the Milky Way galaxy and it's going to actually this is stuff I don't want to scare anybody but th this is the, the factual that people really don't ever take into effect that, they, that whatever took the dinosaurs out at one time or something like that and everything and you got to check this out when this energy comes along you see you're getting that energy there now we're going to bring it back you're going to see the energy that's that's basically within more than likely that that all there more than likely is within the Milky Way galaxy or that even could be bigger than the Milky Way galaxy but what I'm going to show you for absolute sure and we'll take back and I'll this absolutely is bigger than the Milky Way galaxy this energy that came flying through and the CME off the Sun which is showing us that this has to be within two IU of the Sun or within a one IU and a half or maybe just an IU of uh, the sun and the CME and it twists the energy the CME energy off of the sun this energy that just is massive bigger than the Milky Way galaxy it's humongous it's just like how damn big was it and what the hell is out in space and this is fresh from the 21st because what the hell could do that and it's not no print error or anything like that because you get all the proof of your seeing with your eyes this energy streaking this way and with the other earlier energy that there okay because I can reverse that too gone okay and then this energy and it's way more than just the Sun you see because I'll hit play and you're gonna realize that this has got this is energy coming all different directions even from over this this here at this angle from way out this is the Sun here and the super giants the majority of them are back this way Okay, there are some out in front of the sun over this way and so forth and so on. And 74 times the size of the sun, so forth and so on. And as I back this back up, you're going to see that. And that's how fast the world of many galaxies and universes could just die all of a sudden. As I go, bam. Because And I'm just showing you that you watch the clock. It could happen that fast. Now we're lucky that whatever energy this that we got was not something to, I mean, it didn't... But we did get some wild solar wind. Go back to your solar wind records for the 21st. Okay. This energy from, and this is the mass, this is just freaking me because this is the most energy I've ever seen at one time. Just wham. The whole Milky Way galaxy and way more than the size of the Milky Way galaxy. Just whammo. And you see the CME that was coming off the sun. It kind of, it has the electrical energy in it and it distorted the, all this energy that's just flowing flat direct DC current all over the place okay huge I mean I've never I mean there's just, you got to figure out a new word for this is bigger than the Milky Way galaxy for crying out loud this is where the hell did this come from okay uh, boom go back in time bam 
Okay, but go forward, bam. Okay, and let's hit play. And so all this CME action is coming off the sun, but not all that other energy. That is some wild stuff, folks. Wild, wild, wild. And I'll zoom in a little bit on all this energy when you see this come around. And this is just astounding. And then that planet, no matter what, is up there. And that's not any planet that we know of because actual factual. Here's your map, Mercury. The only thing, and it can't be. That is not, it can't be uh, because we're, we're coming off A, okay? It can't, it can't be Jupiter. It can't be, okay? So, because we're coming off A on that shot. And if you're looking at Earth, A is up to the right, shooting this way. Jupiter's not. The only thing possible, and Saturn, it's not Saturn because Saturn is, I can get you Saturn. Saturn's opposite of Pluto. I can end up swinging and getting Saturn around here. Let me get it on the map. There's Saturn. I didn't have it tilted enough. So as you know, and then we're looking from A across. Earth's there, and when we're looking off of the... You're going to end up seeing that the Y, because this is your satellites right here. This is B, and this is A. Okay? And you're shooting off at A. The only thing you're going to get in the future is going to get, you're going to get Mercury coming around. Okay? But for right now, the majority of what they have that for Mercury in Earth is right here on B from behind. You're getting that good shot coming around on it. But on A, it's going to be a little while. It's just going to be coming in here pretty soon. So, as you see from, this is pretty much ahead, stereo ahead here. This is Venus to the right. And you have actual factual that that's that planet that you're seeing here on, let me get to our, our correct picture that we're looking at right here. And the energy shows you that it's within one IU of the sun because just the CME alone can show you that where it's at. You see that? The CME is showing you where it's at. So that planet's out there on A. Okay, and you're only getting a side shot of this of the sun. And when you're shooting from A, you're just getting and you weren't getting Mercury. This is up to date on the 26 here, but back on this on the 21st, because that's what this footage is, is from the 21st. Okay, uh, I gotta find my shot where this is from the 21st. Where we get this electrical energy and everything like that. It's only a side shot of the sun. And on the 21st, that's not Earth, okay? Earth is more or less directly somewhere here, okay? More than likely, that could be Earth like that there. Something's Earth around here. But direct away, like a Y, because there's Earth there. And when you're shooting from A, coming across here, and early, watch your time on this clock, because this is the 24th through the 5th. On the 24th, Mercury was still, the 23rd and the 24th, Mercury was still behind the sun. You couldn't get it. Okay, so Mercury was over here. You wouldn't be able to see it. it. wasn't in the shot. And then you actual factual. I'm hitting the wrong. But there's your A shot. And as I take you back to the map real fast, you couldn't have Mercury in that shot. And it's it's too damn big, and it's been hanging out there for quite a while. And we're probably going to see it there for quite a while too. In all this footage that we're getting, and it's not Saturn. Can't be from the angle. So, and go back to the the main map that I show you that's that's got the plot of Pluto and Neptune and Uranus and everything. So this is a planet that's there, and then no matter what, the astounding energy is just wild. Okay, and I don't. I think I might have it going in the right direction to be able to get that energy back here and again. Let me hit play. That energy is just wild. Just a wild, huge. It's awestruck in me. It, it has awestruck me as how, because even this is a lot of the energy that we've been seeing all these cross different ways of energy and star action going along, and then the CME action of the sun. We can see when we hit play of the separation, and I'll back that up, and then that this is just astounding. That is astounding. Just within that time frame.